Our next speaker is not only the presenting sponsor of Seattle Hemp Fest this year, that's that huge banner, THCF Medical Clinic up there. Not only the presenting sponsor of Seattle Hemp Fest just presented us with a check for $25,000, but he's a sponsor of me. Driving back from Oregon Country Fair last year, about four in the morning, I fell asleep at the wheel and I totaled my Explorer. I survived, obviously. And our next sponsor gave me that 2004 Pathfinder that's sitting over there right there. Otherwise, I, Vivian's so broke, I'm an activist, man. I'm so broke, I, couldn't, I didn't even have the money to buy a car. Paul Stanford of the THC Foundation, my good brother man, thank you for keeping me rolling, because I know you and I have rolled many together. Give it up to Paul Stanford. And we'll roll some more. Hey, you know, I want to give a big thank you to all of you yeah. folks for hey, being hey. here. Thank you. A big thank you, because, you know, we got to come out of the closet and demand our freedom. We have been put down too long. You know, marijuana prohibition isn't about marijuana. It's not about drugs. That's a smoke screen. That's the, the story. What marijuana prohibition's really about is power and petrochemicals and the continued centralization of economic and political control. So our job is to speak truth to power, and that's what we are here to do. I also want to thank all of those patients out there because it's only because of you patients coming to our clinics and supporting us that we have the wherewithal to support this and to support the cause. You know, marijuana to me is the creator's greatest gift to humanity. I believe that marijuana is the plant that produces more fuel, more fiber, more food, and more medicine than any other plant on this planet. If you go back, all archaeologists agree that marijuana, hemp, was the first crop purposely sown by humans. It was definitely among the first crops, and there's some evidence in Central Asia that cannabis cultivation went back 40,000 years into the past. Could well have been the main reason that our ancestors came out of uh, the hunter-gatherer way of life and started to uh, grow crops so they could have their stash. And we still need our stash today. You know, about 75 years ago, the, the industries that were affected, the petrochemical, wood-based paper, the cotton barons of the South, they realized that hemp was going to displace their economic sustenance. So they came up with the lies that they presented to us as reefer madness, saying that marijuana causes us to go crazy and kill our family and friends. That was the lie they sold to us. We all know that's not true. 20 years of hemp fest and there hasn't been any violence. So there's an initiative down here in Washington State. There's a couple of them. Support all of them. Support it. Get out there and get some signatures. And if you can't get signatures, give them money. Because every dollar you give them is a signature that you didn't go out and get. Every hour you volunteer to help them is $10 they don't have to spend. It comes right down to you and me. So I want to once again thank all you folks for coming out here. I'm proud that we can help and uh, help us restore him. <laughs>